Okay, so let me ask you this, Carly. What didn't go right? Um, no, it was like conversation didn't flow so easily. It was a little bit pulling teeth, but uh, it was fun. I had a good time. Well, I mean, if you fire and jabs at the man all I know, night, I it's kind of hard to a little slide in. So hi. So how are you? So what do you do for a living? What'd you say, number five? Yeah. That's how it went. That's but exactly I, how it happened. I was wrong with it. Did you feel the same way, or did you think it was kind of hard to get the conversation going? Yeah, I'm, I guess I'm sort of awkward talking to girls, I guess, as well, so I don't know. But I don't know. I feel like it, I feel like it went well, though. Any, anytime you first meet somebody, you're going to be a little bit awkward regardless, I feel like. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, so does that mean I get a second date, or what's going on? Let's oh, in his okay. Head. Wait a minute. Whoa. Okay. Well, let's. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> well, hell. So, well, let's just go and get to that part. Dan, well, first of all, let me ask you: Is how did the date end? Oh, he didn't even give me a hug. He kind of just walked out. No. Well. Oh wait, not even a wave either. <laughs> no, we, we. I was gonna take her to a haunted house after. We were gonna hang out even after the date. We, yeah, he bailed, though. But you, no, you didn't want to go to the haunted house. I already went to it. I was ready to go again. It was supposed to be like a double date sort of thing. My roommate was going to go with her friend, and we were all going to go together. But <laughs> her friend was tired. My roommate was tired. But we should OK, have. so let's just get <laughs> Here's the deal. Carly. Yes. You can either choose to go out with Ryan again, hmm. or you can choose our runner-up, bachelor number one, Alex, or bachelor number six, who was Fletcher. Those were the guys left standing. Hey, Alex and Fletcher. <laughs> Alex, why should Carly dump this guy for you? You know, if she wants someone who's spontaneous and always up for anything and knows how to save a life, I'm her guy. Is that his oh, that that's, that's the guy save a life? Knows yeah. how to save a life. Oh, that's that guy. Okay. <laughs> and, uh, well, Fletcher, why should Carly dump this guy for you? Well, Carly, the first thing I would do is give you a hug. And <laughs> to be honest, we probably would still be on the date if you would have picked me yesterday. You would still be on the date? Still be on the date. That's a long date. That's aggressive. <laughs> yeah. That's See, I'm not like an aggressive oh, type he's guy. Getting I, I don't wanna I don't wanna make you do anything you don't want. Like I would have loved to <laughs> lean in for a kiss or something, but I don't wanna I don't know, I don't wanna like force myself. I, <laughs> no, I like this dude, man. I like this dude. <laughs> no, I like this dude right here. And nowadays, in the way you you millennials, that man, y'all so. <laughs> y'all y'all date different. Carly, wh wh what's it gonna be? Wh who's it gonna be? You wanna take a chance with Fletcher and number one, and I you wanna the crowd stay with is number, five? At me number five again? It's up to you, though. It's really. I, I have an obvious decision here. It's very obvious to me what I would recommend you do, but it's up to you, Carly. What are you gonna do? <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm not looking, I'm not looking. Let's see who I choose. Yeah! Love you, <laughs> There's the hug now. There's the hug, there you go. I think it might have been slightly forced. All right, we did it. Now, folks, stay tuned because Steve Harvey is changing the dating rules and the dating games on this show. Oh, no. Watch what happens. We'll be back, everybody. <laughs>